watch YouTube and it's Mint! Oh, welcome to Great World Fitness. Now it's in the title and you see it's putting up my title soon. Something about converting something to something. Twittering, I don't know. You were twittering on at me, I don't know. It is! Turning the lap pull down machine into a pressing machine. So how do we do that? Well, we use these bad boys. The, we're going to use the endless round slings again. So how do we prep them first? So we want a, a large carabiner at the top and at the bottom. And a handle. Now we've featured the endless round slings before in the lever arm vid. These are super, they, they're so cheap and there's so many things you can do with these. It's home gym, home gym DIY, it's, it's a godsend. So, also we need a utility bench to sit on and press from. So, let's get it set up. So I'll just hook them up to the carabiner at the bottom of the lock pull down machine. So you want to get the utility bench in the uh, most upright position you can. And then manoeuvre your bench until the handles are level with the chest. So for the chest press, obviously, you can start wherever you want, a bit lower, a bit higher, hands turned in, hands turned, it's up to you. You've got that freedom of movement. And then it's just a press out. And as you can see, you can bring the handles together as well at the top. Now you don't need much weight. I've only got about 35 kilos on the machine and it's pretty tough. You get a great contraction in the chest, especially the centre of the chest, because you can bring your hands in. But can you shoulder press with it as well? Yes, you can. Same position, hands level with the chest, or the shoulders, sorry, and press up. Great bit of stability as well. But there's not only a pressing movement you can do with it, you can also do, and if you take the bench back a bit, you can get a great seated cable row. It's not too harsh on the lower back. So hopefully th these hints might inspire you into doing a little bit of home gym DIY. So on that note, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. What else, babe? Leave a comment. Leave a comment. I'll catch you next time.